name is Fazi. If it is the first time on this channel, welcome. If you're a returning viewer, if you're a returning subscriber, welcome. It's good to have you here. I hope you're excited. Today, I'm, well, I'm always in my mother's kitchen, but well, today we're doing something that's done in the kitchen. So, I want us to cook. I have leftover rice from today is uh, Tuesday. I cooked it on Sunday. I've left over rice, so I want to do rice fritters with you. And I just thought, you know what? Maybe it's something that we can do together, and you can also try it out. And you tell me how it would have worked out. I've made rice fritters before. Well, I, I made potato fritters, and I've made rice fritters as well. I think can't remember, but I remember making some funny, funny type of fritters. A few weeks ago that I saw on Pinterest but anyway so basically what you're gonna need is you're gonna need leftover rice let me show you the ingredients my leftover rice there you go eggs got my two eggs with me perfect and then you're also gonna need your flour I'm using soft raisin flour well that's the only flour that we have in the house anyway so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to get everything into this bowl. Well, it's a Tupperware lunchbox. I'm going to get everything into this bowl. I'm going to mix it up. Then I'm going to make the fritters and I'm just going to fry them up. It's going to be a very quick video. It's not something that's really um, a big deal. So this rice, I was making biryani from it. I made biryani on Sunday. So biryani rice. So everything is already in here. The carrots, the green peppers, the whatever, and it was a bit chilly, but I'm going to add more curry so that it's a bit chillier, if there's a word like that, because I really like my food, chili. So everything is already in there, except for the meat. We ate all of the meat and we finished it. So everything is already in there. So what I just generally have to do is add the eggs and add the flour. Why do you have to add eggs and flour? Because they will hold the rice together right um when you put it in the pan so i don't know how this baking philosophy works but i just know these things they then hold everything together cool perfect so let's get mixing come close oh, yeah perfect i'm not too sure if my ps i am not much of a cook but well, we move. Well, I'm not. I'm not even a cook anyway. But anyway, we still go on to do this thing. So I'm gonna mix that. I'm gonna mix that together. Together. Mix it together. So now it's all slimy and whatever but before we add on i want to add some curry some curry curry Ma. so this is the madras madras now i'm pretty sure every household in zimbabwe is this i'm pretty sure spices. I love spices on food. I just hope Kuti, my own family will love it. By my own family, I mean my kids and my husband. I don't know what they're gonna like. I don't even know the food that they would like to eat yet. But I think it's something that we can pray for. And these people have to like spice. These people are not supposed to have ulcers and all those kind of things. So anyway, now that that's well mixed, I think um, we're gonna. Oh, by the way, I'm not a chef, so I don't do measurements. You don't want to eat song. Leftovers and people don't eat, don't throw them away. 
make something extra. You don't have to throw away like leftover food. Like you have to find ways of cooking it so that people will actually enjoy um having it again like what i'm doing with this rice so now we're gonna go and throw it into the oven the into the frying pan well not the like the usual frying pan the obvious frying pan the pan with oil that is in the stove but i could have easily used the frying pan on this okay i'll do that next time cool so let's go on to the stuff okay cool so i've already added my fritters mupan right so that they cook um and now we might have deep fry because i don't like food with a lot of oil they'll end up feeling or acting like my fat cook or fish i don't like those so i'm gonna fry them like this i hope they're gonna get to where i want them to get it and it's gonna be fun so i'm gonna just be sure Because I wanted to suck out like um, 
Mafuta is it? Because I'm told it does that. I'm told if you put oil on paper, it gets sat out. Child, look at how crispy gold this is. Look. Ow. Look. Child. Just use the tray. What is so people wait, wait. Yes, yes, yes. Anyway, so we are done making our leftover rice fritters. Don't they look amazing? Isn't she lovely? Isn't she? What is she beautiful? Is she beautiful? So you can totally anyway. Let's get back to serious business. You can totally cook this under fifteen minutes. Um, you can cook this for your children's lunch box, kind of a gender or maybe your sibling or whatever. If you don't have kids, you can cook this for your own lunch box when you're going to work for tea time, or you can cook them for your husband or your boyfriend or your parents. But I would recommend them for um, lunch snake purposes. Also, you can make them just for a snake, something just so that people can eat um, when they open the fridge. Because lately, Mazano, especially because of lockdown, when someone opens the fridge, they just have to walk out of the kitchen eating. So you can also make this. You can also have them for tea. I think, I'm not too sure whether with tea or with juice, but as a snake, um maniru i'm pretty sure i know that my family is gonna have this maniru when they're drinking their evening tea but yeah basically that's it for my mom's kitchen let me let me taste them let me taste them let me uh, mm, mm. video for this wow i will not realize like they're really good really really good extra good perfect thank you very much for watching this please comment down below um with how you make your fritters whether they are sweet potato fritters rice fritters potato fritters or generally please comment down below and share with me another recipe share with me some other local ingredients that I use by local, I mean those are the ones that are easily accessible in Zimbabwe. And yeah, that's about it guys. Thank you for tuning in. Ciao!